Hello guys and welcome. I hope you all have an awesome day so far. It is gorgeous out here. It's like 74 degrees, I think. Yep, 74. And it's Saturday. It's a perfect day. But today we're going to talk about mystery shopping. I'm going to answer the questions that are most asked by you guys. So if you are interested in mystery shopping, part-time, full-time, or just interested in getting to know a little bit more about it, I'm going to give you guys some answers to your favorite top questions. So you might want to take notes. If you guys have any other questions, feel free to write them in the comments or you can message me. And I will make another video and an update with a second round of questions for you. But let's get into it for today. Well, we're going to start off with the first question being the favorite question. And that's how you get paid, right? That's why you guys are interested in doing it. You want to be paid. And the first question is, do you get paid weekly? And do the companies pay all at the same time? And the answer to that is no. They do not pay all at the same time because the shops are done at different times. And each company that you do a shop with has different structures, you know, for their payments and how they pay. Some pay PayPal, some pay direct deposit, and some pay by check in the mail. And then some pay daily, some pay weekly, some pay monthly. It all depends. So I suggest when you guys are accepting a shop, if you've never worked for that company before, that you go and read their guidelines and their requirements on payments, just so you can make sure you're signed up, first of all, with your bank account or PayPal or how, however you're going to get paid, and to make sure you know when you're going to get paid. I have noticed for the companies that I work for, a lot of them, I would say about 80%, they pay the month after and they pay the end of the month so for instance if you do something if you do three shops for the same for this company we'll say on may 1st you're going to get paid at the end of june for those it's a month behind and it's at the end of that month i notice that for most of them but then again that is not for all of them so you just have to read through each company's guidelines for payment okay the next question is what is the favorite app that you use to find shops? And mine is Presto Shopper. It may not be everyone's favorite and it may not be your favorite. I always suggest to try different apps. There's many of them. And that's because there's different areas. Like some of the ones where I live, if I'm to punch in my zip code, that's how you find the shops for the area you're in. Some of the apps, they don't even have jobs around here. Presto, I noticed, because I've traveled, that they have the most jobs no matter what zip code you're in. But then again, that might not be everybody's favorite. There are many different apps and you just really need to look around and try different ones to see what fits you best. Okay, next question is, are the shops automatically given to you or do you need to apply? Well, usually you do need to apply, especially at first. However, they have schedulers that handle all the shops, and those are the ones scheduling everything. You can also send them an email letting them know you're very interested in a specific shop because it's in your area, and you can do it. And, you know, they might write you back quicker, and they might give it to you. And just a little side note, if you get in with the schedulers and you prove to be reliable, they sometimes will email you first and message you first with offers that are in your area. And if they're last minute offers that have a very short deadline to be done, they usually pay a little bit more. Just a little side note. Also, there's such thing as a shopper score. Once you do so many shops and you're evaluated on them and on your report, once you get a higher shopper score, you're able to do instant shops, like self-assigned shops, they're called. And the, there you do not have to apply. If you see the job and it's in your area, you, and it's self-assigned, you're able to self-assign for it. Usually you have to have a higher shopper score for that, and that just comes with time. But it really doesn't take that long to get a higher shopper score if you do a few jobs and you do them well. Okay, guys, well, those were the top three questions asked. Now I thought I'd add a little bonus for you guys and give you some websites and apps and a little bit of information about each. So if you are interested in looking into mystery shopping further, you can start with these. 
The first one is Skill Check. And Skill Check offers in person shops to a lot of storage facilities. They also offer at home phone jobs and seasonal jobs. They pay weekly and they pay by check. The next one is Ipsys. They can be found on Presto app, Presto maps. They're found everywhere. They can also be found on Sassy and Shopmetric. They pay seven to 10 days out and they do restaurant, tech stores, phone shops, internet, and more. They really, they do a large variety, so they're definitely one to check out. I do not personally use this app, but I know plenty of people that do, so you might want to check out Observa. They pay $4 to $20 per shop, and they always pay within 72 hours. Easy Shift is another app that you might want to check out. They pay within 48 hours, and they pay $2 to $20 per shop. Some of the shops, though, keep in mind for this one anyways, can be up to 45 minutes, and that is pretty long for a shop. Usually the ones I do take no more than 10 to 15 minutes. But then again, it just depends on what kind of shops you want to do. So you might want to check out Easy Shift, I hear. Highly recommended, you know, that is a highly recommended and a great app. I just personally have never used it. Another top rated one is Field Agent. Field Agent pays $3 to $15 per shop and they pay within 6 to 10 days of doing the shop. Okay guys, well we came to the end here and we're at the last one and it is Primo Solutions. They pay every Monday. They primarily do assistant living facilities so you have to be able to either pose as someone going into a facility like this or the relative of someone going into a facility. You also have to be able to do audio and video recording. And I think, but I'm not positive that you can do it on your phone, but as with all of these companies and apps that I gave you today, please do your own research and look through the website and all their regulations and guidelines. Every little detail before you ever accept a job from any company. But these are all reputable companies. They've been around a long time. They're highly rated. And I personally know people who have used them if I have not used them myself. But still, you always want to do your own research. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video for today. I hope it was helpful. And thank you so much for hanging out and watching through it. If you guys have any other questions, as I mentioned in the beginning, put them in the comments below or send me an email. And we'll see if we can make a part two to this until next time, take care.